You been working out? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, uh -huh. oh, Running okay. suicide, yep. Well, I know this guy has. And, and BD, just take the highlight, man. It's, it's for PG. PG. PG, Dippity Do, Air One, thank you. On the ISO. Oh, oh. Somebody on the island oh. by itself. Excuse me while I lay this on the reverse side. Yeah, look Please at my describe head. this shot for and me. And then please have another one of these. Oh, Isaac. Oh, no. That's like the, that's called, I call that a snow cone floater. A snow cone floater? <laughs> what, what do you call this stuff right there? I call, that, I call that the Afro beaten Euro. Oh, oh that's like that, the Congress and the Congress. Yeah, I call oh, okay. that the Afro beaten. Are you going to show it to him again? Show it to him again. Uh, show it. How you doing? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, and you know happening. Russell Westbrook, he's Mr. Triple Double, and he can't do that without passing to somebody. So, young fella, go get it for him. Ooh. I'm a Dubiallo taking advantage of the back door. Cut 8373. Now, Vucevic, he's going to get inside. Up. And if you can't dunk it, try to dunk it and get some good luck in there. Jerry and Grant takes it to the hole. Son of Harvey. Oh, yeah. And the, the nephew of Horace. Oh, there we go. I hope we're right and didn't get them mixed up. How about this? Schroeder, OKC down three. Schroeder hits the big shot. Russell Westbrook. Coast. How do you guard that? Not the ball. That, that, stop. How do you stop Russell Westbrook in transition, Shaq? Wow. You fouling? Right. You don't. He George. How about George? The Thunder on a 10-0 run. Schroeder, he's getting his man at OKC. He had 18 in the fourth. You want to see three of them? Oh, oh, nice. He wants oh, to go. Oh. And how about... Uh, Salsa Lenny, baby? Yeah, I, you know, I like this team, man, because they got a lot of... They got a lot of that attitude, sauce, you know, they talk trash, and, they, and, and pretty much the whole team is athletic. They're athletic at each and every position. How about Westbrook? His fourth triple, straight triple double. Straight. Check. I, I, don't, I, I love Westbrook's game, but I hate how he averages more rebounds than some seven footers out there. That, that, really, that really makes me mad as a big fella. I mean, listen, he plays with, he plays with that. With that monster attitude. And you know, the first couple of years we talked about him trying to score, trying to score. We wanted him to change his game. He definitely changed his game, but yeah. this is how he plays. Oh, no, he can go. I just wish some big fellas would go in there and rebound. Quit letting the little fella take all the rebounds. Crucial conflict. What's up, old dog? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Crucial conflict. What you say about my mama? Get it! Oh! What you say about my mama? Yeah, Zach Levine. He said, I'll dunk on you and. I He's step been having a out. Great year. Oh, man. Shout out to Zach Levine. Yeah, yeah, coming nice. back off that injury. 49 42 Chicago. How about you? Hey, Pierre. Got it. Yeah, he says, take that, take that, take that. He goes into halftime. Chicago up four. How about this? Lloyd Market. That's why I like his Yeah, I love his game. He'll step like this two, three. Dunk on you. Uh, but D'Angelo Russell, I mean, L Dog. He's left La La Land. We thought we were going to forget about him, but he's making people remember why he was such a high pick. He has game. Yeah, I mean, he's, a, he's in his third, maybe fourth year. He's starting to get comfortable. Oh, Anytime no. point guard, you know, you got you to gotta have a little bit more patience. Ooh, Jamar, yeah, yeah, Parker. Russell is proving, like, okay. pretty Get a man some minutes. You know? Oh, that's right. This is your team, Chicago, huh? Is that, is that right? Or I really can't about? say that's Listen, your team? Listen, I am a Chicago fan, so Bears, Bulls, Cubs. So what are y'all doing as you see the end of the layup? Are y'all going to tank the season? Y'all in the Zion? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to understand. Pick, what, what is Chicago? What are y'all doing? Uh, well, you know, we're in a rebuilding phase right now. But y'all have been cool. since Jordan left. Um, you mean a tanking phase? A tanking up. phase or a rebuilding phase? Uh, both. Since Jordan yeah. left. Oh. What yeah, I like retire? Levine. Levine, we're going to build you around got good Levine. young pieces. Jordan, what, uh, what are you doing? 90. No. What's Jordan retired? 90 something? That's what we're doing, C-Web? I'm, I'm just you saying. Talk I'm about here. your Detroit I really Lions. don't care if you the Bulls go there? ever win. You want to talk about the Lions? Had Jordan all them years? Okay. Ooh. That's like the Lakers. Y'all had Kobe, Shaq, Magic, like all these teams with all this. Luka. Doncic. Ben Simmons. Oh, there's your, there's your man, Lloyd Markman. There we go. Rep there represent go. the Bulls. Yeah, I'm that tanking. Who's I like city? this kid, Shy from the Clippers, too. He nice. Underdog, how do I pronounce that name? He don't know either. Ooh. Thanks, Underdog. He's supposed to Brody help us out on players' own, man. Rodion's Karooch. Well, the U.S. Yeah, Shaq, you missed the international. Tatum. Say every name. Darren Fox. Darren Fox My having boy a... boy Donovan Mitchell out in Utah. Darren Tatum Fox having an amazing second year. Shout out to yeah, Trey yeah. Young. Had a great <laughs> game last night. <laughs> Young Bagley. That's okay, Shaq. <laughs> Hell, <laughs> anybody, we got somebody <laughs> choke. Hello, <laughs> we got CPR on site. I'm gonna choke on that ice. I'm gonna choke on that ice. Nigga gave me his hard ass ice. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Rodeon You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can't get hit on the back. Oh, oh, man. He Webb kept going with the highlights. Yeah. Well, I'm just tonight. <laughs> man. Shaq you know over here dying. Don't see where I'm reading the highlights. Ouch. Oh, man. How about oh. this? Go up. Scan up. From one scan of my favorite college teams Look ever. Look at that cowboy in the mind of LV running Rebels. What is that, velvet? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> David Ruffin, <laughs> biting. Oh, man. My bad, G. Hey, what'd you say it looked like VD is made out of balloon material? Yeah, it looked like it did. <laughs> he went to the store and asked for some balloon. <laughs> Gotta get some balloon material. Oh, uh, players only. Uh oh. Oh, he oh. Shaq oh. Hey, C Web's still doing the highlights. Because I thought he was laughing. <laughs> TK said the show must go on. He was like, just let the show go. He was like, good, good TV. He'll choke. He'll be all right. Help a brother out. I'm bad, man. I'm bad. Oh. Ah. Players only halftime report presented by American Express. Now, usually we don't come in with highlights of the losing team, but the Lakers have been making a run with a few oh. highlights. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Don't look at him. Don't you look at him. No, don't look at him. Uh, uh, don't look at him. Don't stand over him. <laughs> yeah. Where's Khalifa looking? <laughs> <laughs> he got beads at the end. Khalifa. I see you with the beads you here. Know. Uh, welcome to Players Only. I'm Chris Webber. We got Shaq, Candace Parker, and my man, VD. So what's going on, guys? When you look at the first, when you look at the first half of this game, uh, Actually, we can look at some of these plays. When you see a young team like the Lakers and they don't have LeBron James there, Candace, and you see the start of a game like this, if you're the coach or a teammate, what do you say to your players and why is this going on? Well, this looks like a team that hasn't had a ball handler with them. I mean, Rajon Rondo missed time. Lonzo Ball's out with an ankle injury. LeBron's been out for 16 games. So when the head of your offense has been out, you know, you're going to turn the ball over. But they were just giving the ball away. I'd have to disagree with my good friend Candace. This right here is just a lack of focus because after we get rid of these highlights, we're going to show highlights when they start focusing, they start making the plays. No, we're all professional. We all can play. And all coaches say the same thing. You guys are just not listening. Playing against the 76ers, LeBron's not out. Some of these guys should be auditioning because when they come back, they're going to have to start tightening it up. A trade might be made. You know, so guys need yeah. to start auditioning and playing out. That right there was just a lack of focus. I, I, First play of the game, you can't turn it over. I wanted to say, like, it, could it be uh, the lack of focus? Could that be because of all the stuff that we're hearing today, right? Right. But, you know, the Anthony Davis trade rumors and you know, them getting off to a, a, a slow start when you have a young team like that, usually they're in their head, right? Because they think they're going to be traded. Yeah, because, yeah. like, you showing up to and the that's game, why you're you know, supposed to step up. Yeah, yeah. You you're right. Up, yeah, so I'm next. Yeah, yeah you got to step up. Now, that's not the way you start, but I think as they got into the flow, they kind of, you, you know, when you start playing, you kind of lose that mentality, and you got to get back to playing basketball. But could it, could it also be that the ball's in the wrong people's hands? I mean, what? you see Josh Hart with the ball in his hands trying to make plays as opposed to... You know, these guys are used to having me finishing plays and yeah. not having to make them. I mean, but they're down, they're playing in L.A., and we all know how the L.A. fans are. They're getting back in the game right there. Oh! Mike, Mike Penn birthday with a right. two-handed jam. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're starting to come up. Yeah, and they're focused. Let me ask you playing something, Playing with great Shaq. energy. Shaq, you played in two cities that were temptations for teammates, and that was Miami and the Lakers. Did the great Lakers team ever say, this team is coming in tonight, or did you say, this team is coming in tonight? I know that they went out last night. We need to start early and get off to a 10-point lead because then they won't come back. Or in Miami, both well, places, detentions for players. It also depends on your plan. When you're playing against a great team that really has championship aspirations, like, you guys never went out. So, like, we would definitely worry about y'all. But the young teams, we know they was going out. You know how I knew? Huh. When I went out, I saw them. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew who was out and who was not. And, you know, the Lakers, again, they just, they were, they were not mentally ready. And, you know, once the crowd started getting into the game and LeBron started talking, you know, making faces and stuff like that, their, their concentration and their focus was a little bit better, and they're starting to get back in the game. But, you know, Philly cannot lose this game today. Yeah. Against the LeBronless Lakers, you got to get that win. No. Yeah. C-Web, you're not going to put Cleveland in that mix of, of going, going out, out, out late at night? <laughs> no, uh, no, nobody went nah, out No, they went no. to the movies. Uh, <laughs> okay, I was, <laughs> my bad. The coaches <laughs> love Cleveland. Confused. Like, so I see you at 6 o'clock practice. Right. They're like, all right, all right. You got in <laughs> Cleveland, go right to the airport. Listen, yeah. one time. <laughs> <laughs> I was living in Cleveland, Sorry, Cleveland. Out three times and I didn't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even had no hey, hookah bar in Cleveland. Did you see them midgets? They had things called midgets in midgets? Cleveland. What's that? They like a, like a million gnats. It was like a, like a million gnats just hanging on buildings. That was the most interesting thing I've seen in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> midgets. <laughs> uh.
Yeah, he do look like Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, he look like, uh, he look like Tiger, too. Tiger, Tiger. Tiger. <laughs> With the dunk. A little bit with him. He do look like Wiz. Oh, man. We'll be back with it up, more ain't you in a minute on the American Express Halftime Report. We'll tell you who more people look like. We know all their twins. I've never seen you out with these in my life. Welcome. Welcome back to Fan <laughs> Zone. Yeah. Mr. Vegas, I hope you are listening, G.A. Matter of fact, I know you are. I just want to throw a couple Let's things out to you, G.A. <laughs> <get it. laughs> Barry oh, Davis. What now? <laughs> hold on, G.A. Oh, we got a fight. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> Baron oh Davis God, said you look like the black man on the penny that got rejected. <laughs> Baron Davis said you cut your suit coat out of a car of an old pimp Cadillac. <laughs> and Candace said you look like a Rick James backup singer. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> so, wait, hey, Jimmy, wait, why you laughing so hard, Jimmy? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. I wanna. I know C. Webb that caught a few comments tonight. Oh, they've been killing me. That's why I'm glad they killed him. Because Candace said well, he's trying to join the then. NFL Hall of Fame. Hey, hey, he got, hey, he got that I pimp pistol. He got that pimp pistol jacket. Is that Golden? Hey, you have to let this to me. <laughs> Golden ticket. Golden ticket. Hold on, hold on. Thank you for wearing that outfit, GA. You let me get away with this turtleneck, and I'm oh, hot in the hey, studio. Hey, GA, don't let them talk you out of that, dog. Bring well, that one out. Hold on. I ain't worried about it. This next time, don't do the red pin strikes. I got a maroon with that. And wear that vest. You know it's a vest with that. I ain't wearing a vest this time. I'm going to have a maroon with that. You look like a gold singer cane. James Harden getting him up pregame before he and the Rockets take on the Pelicans. He had 40 in the win over Orlando the other night, which means his January scoring average went down. That's coming up at uh, the top of the hour is the players only franchise returns to TNT Pelicans and Rockets coming up. Grant Hill will be part of that broadcast along with Isaiah Thomas, Jason Terry and Karan Butler. And as you can see, here he is in the flesh, or at least on TV, joining us from Houston. Grant, there aren't many storylines that can steal the spotlight away from what James Harden has been doing. But this Anthony Davis thing has people talking. What is the ripple effect around the league for you? Well, Matt, you're right. I mean, James Harden's been great, particularly this last four to six weeks. But Anthony Davis, the news of uh, his desire to be traded uh, and traded soon from the New Orleans Pelicans is certainly uh, on everyone's mind, particularly here in Houston, as we had a chance to visit with Mike D'Antoni and, and Alvin Gentry and uh, just a lot of uh, unknown uh, a player of his magnitude, the options, what's going to happen moving forward. Uh, the Pelicans are going to quickly try and do something now prior to the trade deadline or will they wait until the summer uh, so just a lot of unknowns right now but the thing we do know is uh, know is that obviously uh, he wants out of New Orleans uh, and the big question is where will he go he's the kind of player uh, that can have a huge impact if you uh, you know depending upon where he goes and who he may or may not partner up with so uh, a lot of excitement a lot of intrigue uh, certainly something on tonight's broadcast I'm sure we'll, we'll talk about uh, quite a bit, but uh, certainly the news of the NBA at this moment. I imagine, uh, I imagine you will be discussing that a fair amount. The, the, <laughs> the tentacles of this thing are so far reaching around the league, including the balance of power in whichever conference he lands in. Uh, meanwhile, Harden's numbers in January are just absurd. And now Chris Paul has returned to the lineup. So in your mind, how close are the Rockets to being where they were last season when they wound up winning 65 games? Yeah, you know, it's a great question, Matt. They, they, they're closer. Uh, I think early in the year, obviously, they're a different team. They weren't as talented. Uh, it, it, you know, Mike D'Antoni was starting rookies, even guys who were undrafted rookies. So different roles. They were struggling. They managed to sort of maintain their confidence and spirit through that stretch. Uh, Chris Paul went down. Uh, and James Harden went crazy <laughs> and obviously has played uh, at, at an MVP caliber rate. Um, but I think I think bringing in a Kenneth Fareed uh, when Capella went down has been huge. Uh, he was kind of on that bench there lost in Denver. You move him now to the center position. He's one of the best at, at, at setting screens and rolling to the basket and plays with a tremendous amount of energy. Uh, Austin Rivers has come over, a veteran who uh, is, a, is a really good on-the-ball defender. Uh, now you're getting Chris Paul back. Capella's coming back. Uh, so I think this team is, is trending in the right direction. Obviously, you have to give a lot of credit to James Harden. But I think, I think the personnel has gotten better since the team that they had at the start of the season. 
Uh, Harden uh, is in obviously tip-top fa- uh, sh- form and is great shape right now and playing elite basketball. And then you're getting, you know, you're getting Chris Paul back, which I think will help because the big question is can Harden – continue at this pace uh, you know, throughout the entire season into the postseason. They're going to need Chris Paul to be healthy and productive for them to try to have a run like they had last season. Grant, Capella played such an important part, especially with Harden on the floor. I mean, this guy was uh, seventh in the league in rebounding, third in field goal. You know, all these things that he had done, all-star basically performance by Capella. They lose him and bring in a guy who had almost vanished away from the NBA as far as getting minutes on the floor, getting an opportunity to play. What has Mike D'Antoni said about Fareed coming in and, out and the role he's playing? Well, Mike D'Antoni, I mean, I played for Mike D'Antoni. Dave, Dave Griffin, obviously, we were all out there in Phoenix together. He, he always used to say that the ball finds energy. And there may not be a big guy in the league that has the kind of energy that a Kenneth Fareed. You know, I think in Denver, uh, obviously, he became the manimal. He played... Uh, with, with, you know, with, at, a, at an elite level, was on the Olympic team at one point or the U.S. Uh, World Championship basketball team. And then Jokic came in, and, and all of a sudden, fours are expected to be able to shoot from the perimeter. That wasn't his game, uh, but it was the perfect timing. There was a void here, Capella being out. He's come in, playing more of the five position, uh, you know, setting screens, rolling to the basket, finishing. You know, when Capella was out for that 10-game stretch, they weren't getting baskets at the rim. They were shooting even more three-pointers uh, with a P.J. Tucker at the center position. But Fareed now sort of plays that diver role, and he dives so hard that you have to really, uh, defensively guarding Houston, you have to make uh, an adjustment. You have to make the proper read. Uh, and so now getting back to that basketball that they're accustomed to playing. And Fareed, when Capella comes back, now you have two bigs who can come in and play and give you different looks both on offense and on defense. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Chris Paul uh, getting back in the mix. So this team, like I said, is, is moving in the right direction. But Fareed has been huge, and certainly Mike D'Antoni has been very happy. Grant, one of the things I think that gets lost in all of this Anthony Davis talk is exactly how good Drew Holiday has been this season and the burden he's been carrying. He's had to play nine games without AD as it is, and he's probably been their most consistent player. What does Alvin say about Drew and the season he's had and where they go from here? Yeah, you know, Dave, we, we talked about Drew with Alvin. He just said he's been solid. He's been consistent. Nothing phases him. He'll come out and be a professional uh, play at a high level. And you're right. With all the, the talk this year of, of Anthony Davis and what's his future and obviously the news uh, here in the last 48 hours, you know, Drew Holiday is putting up all-star numbers and you know, 20 points, eight, eight assists. Uh, you know, obviously would be in the all-star game if, if New Orleans was in the playoff picture. Uh, but quietly under the radar, just going about his business, uh, playing great. And, you know, it's, it's interesting. We, you know, one of the things we talked about, and certainly Drew Holiday plays a role, what we played, we talked about this with Alvin, when they've had all their guys healthy, all the guys that played in their, you know, top seven, eight man rotation, you know, they've been seven and three this year. And they just, you know, the injuries and, and, and AD being out, Miritich, uh, at, at times Randall was out, Peyton was out for 31 games early in the year. This team doesn't have great depth and, and not having these guys healthy has really hurt them. And you never really got a chance to see what this team could do after the success of last season in the postseason. So, uh, but Drew Holiday, he has been a mainstay, and, and he's been someone who, you know, even against Houston, he's guarded James Harden well. You know, the, the games they played prior, he's, you know, been able to, you know, really you know, keep him off the three-point line, uh, not foul him, make him a two-point shooter. And if you look at the numbers, he's actually done a pretty good job head-to-head, and I imagine we'll, we'll get a lot of that tonight. Injuries a factor again tonight for the Pelicans. Julius Randle is out. Uh, Etwan Moore is going to rest tonight. Alfred Payton also out with the ankle injury in addition, of course, to Anthony Davis. Grant Hill, though, fit as a fiddle and ready to broadcast at the top of the hour. Players only tonight. It's the Pelicans and the Rockets. We'll see you then. All right, guys. Thank you. Much more coming up here on game time between now and the start of that game. Uh, the Anthony Davis story is of some interest to the folks in Los Angeles. We'll get the perspective from out there when we come back.